Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Let's have um, some quick messages, just quick messages, a few, a few quick messages. So we won't delve too deep <clears throat> into any particular message, but uh, do we need to get some things off of our chest? We can do that. Okay, the Rider Waite Tarot. Okay, what's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers. I say cheers. What's going on? Let's have a look at the cards. We have some quick channelings, please. Oh, okay. We have the two of cups. I wasn't, su I wasn't suggesting that that was spoken about first, but... A good starting point exchanging cups of love i actually feel as if this masculine here i've got another card here so let's pop that one down um the masculine's taking this cup of love from this feminine so he's accepting it the cup what's he going to do with his cup once he takes her cup is he going to give her his cup i don't know because look at the lion's face. So like, I'm hoping you're going to give like an exchange for that cup you're about to take, Tarzan. <laughs> Unfounded fear. That's the card of when you have fears, um, but there's no reason for you to have fear. Why is this feminine here trapped in uh, this fear? You know, the energy is coming through is you have no reason to fear giving this feminine your cup. But if you take her cup and don't give her anything in exchange, I want to say that's like your lot that's all you're having because what's coming through is her hands are, are tied here so she has no more to offer you apart from this cup of unconditional love this is an energy of um someone who's been playing around with apes okay monkeying around as if like you don't understand what i'm saying you do understand what i'm saying playing the fall okay um but then i'm taking to like you have all these splatter marks on your attire here so i feel like you haven't been given the correct exchange but this time you have to put your best foot forward okay <laughs> because her reserves are drying out you can see the the puddles, should we say that, by her. Um, she can only give from her excess, not her reserves. They're reserved for herself to top up her, her own cup of love uh, because, you know, some take that love without giving anything in return, without topping her up. <laughs> Jeez. A quick reading, Lucy. Quick messages. Oh. Okay. How many cards do you want? You can have that card. Prudent, acting with or showing care and thought for the future. Acting with or showing care and thought for the future. And then we have a sexy, very exciting or appealing in reverse. This masculine here needs to come correctly. Okay. The divine tells him he needs to come correctly. Needs to come on the wings of love. Very interesting reading. Let's go to the channel of love cards. Mrs. Mystic. That's the divine feminine's energy here. 
so she is aware of what uh, is going on. Master Manifestor, you've manifested this opportunity. I don't want to say that this is your last chance, but it could be. Addicted. To what? Running away is coming through. Addicted to running away. Mr. Casanova, that's what he would do. Okay. We need a clean slate, a new beginning, a new way of doing this, uh, interacting with each other. Equal give and take. We'll get one of these little orange cards and then I shall put an oracle card from the Magical Unicorn and see what they want to say regarding this situation. I will deal with you next. <laughs> and the Divine is taking care of us. Okay, a clean slate. When um, the Two of Cups came out and I was a little taken back because I wasn't expecting the Two of Cups to come out. Um, but the word come through, I wasn't suggesting that we spoke about this first, but I believe that this is top priority. This is number one priority, is about getting this correct, um, this exchange. This exchange is going to be very healing, but for who? It should be healing for both. Let's go to the magical unicorns. I'm looking here, it says home, sweet home. So um, it's like you get your treats, your sweet, and then like you're off in the other direction. And really what's happened is this feminine's given her cup quite willingly. You've taken it, but it's left her depleted. So this card says, Come back and finish what you started and don't leave me hanging on. Finish what you've started. You've started something important and now it's time to complete it. Okay. Now I feel I want to delve into this even more. Okay. <laughs> finish what you've started. Well, we started a conversation off here, so um, where is it going? Where is this leading us? Finish what you started. I'm trying to find the page. Forgive. Finish what you started. At the beginning of a project, you feel excited because it's something new and different. This excitement gives you lots of energy. It also makes you want to spend a lot of time working on the task. But the excitement may fade away, causing you to lose interest. At that point, you may walk away from it. And I feel this could be the energy of the feminine. Um, losing interest. Causing you to lose interest, that's when the excitement fades away. And at that point, you may walk away from it. When you have lots of unfinished projects, your mind feels scattered. The unfinished jobs nag at you, which isn't fun. This card asks you to go back to an important project. You already know which one it is. Okay. <laughs> Project Divine Love Exchange. <laughs> the 
So this card asks you to go back to an important project, you already know which one it is, and complete it. The act of finishing something helps you become a more organised person and makes you feel better about yourself. This specific task will also help you with your larger goals. That's why it's important to finish. Now we have Mrs Mystic. So I feel the feminine is very aware of what's um, taking place. And this, it feels completion of a chapter of one way of doing things. I mean, you can have this clean slate, however that, uh, transpires what whatever that looks like so we have mrs mystic here i don't feel like she's running away but uh, there is some finality to it an old way of being is being dissolved it's important that this is done and then you can i feel have the energy to move on we have best friends. True friends, look at my hair here. <laughs> True friends stick together no matter what. True love sticks together no matter what. I want to go to the journey of love. What's coming through because I'm wanting to like give you more information but um, the rest is still unwritten okay so let's finish this reading with a message from the journey of love the divine is taking care of us I will deal with you next and we have Angel of Jupiter Awaken. Card number six, which is the number of love, bliss, harmony, union, the lovers. Beloved, within you there is magnificence, greatness, and the ability to live bolder, larger, and more exuberantly than you may have ever imagined. Awaken that keen spirit, hungry for adventure and new experience. The angel of Jupiter, the spirit of bold expansion and divine generosity lives within you. Your spirit cannot be made small, but must be free. Start now. Feel the endlessness of your own heart. What can be done today to live bigger? A smile, a yes to that offer of adventure, sharing vulnerability without fear, taking a step forward into the unknown, daring to imagine that the divine doesn't just happen to you, but happens through you as you. Embrace the courage of your own open heart and dare to dream, beloved. The bold, divine nature within you is calling you to great things. Now is your time to awaken. This oracle holds a message of guidance for you. You are being given an opportunity that can change your life. Don't hesitate to accept it. If you are acting with more assertiveness, more generosity, more playfulness, and more spiritual authority than usual, this is confirmation that this is coming from a genuine place within you. If you are experiencing some havoc in your life or a sense that things are changing, this oracle comes as affirmation. Yes, there is change. 
and yes, you are outgrowing what once was, so you will be prepared to receive that which is more suited for your next stage of growth. Here's the poem. Awake in your arms, I wait to stop time, savouring each moment for an eternity. Like an angel, you light the room, your love giving life to the love I've held within. Unbridled and unbridled and free, our dream unfolds and we are forever changed. How beautiful. Okay, let's leave that message there and um, I will be back with more soon. Take care, much love. Bye for now.